Bismillah. In this problem, there is a slotted arm which is rotating with respect to position O as shown in this picture. And there is a slider inside which moves in inward direction by the help of a string S. You can see in this picture that when a string is pulled, the slider moves inside. Now I will write the given information in this problem. The theta is given by this equation which is time dependent. To find that, now you can differentiate theta with respect to time and you can get theta in radian per second. Again, you can take one more differentiation and you will find the theta double prime. The distance r is given as 1.6 minus 0.2t. We added here the point 0.2 negative point 0.2t because it is moving with respect to point 0.2 meter per second. So we can say that r is changing or its variable with respect to time. Again, we started calculating the r prime by using time derivative of r and similarly we found r double dot or r double prime by using again differentiating it and the value is zero. Also in this problem it was mentioned that it is moving with a constant speed. Let's find the values of theta with respect to time and we have to calculate when time is 4 seconds. So in this case we will just put the value t is equal to 4 seconds and we can easily find the value for theta. Remember that theta value will be in radian. Similarly you can find theta prime. Now we will calculate the value for r based on the time 4 seconds. So here we put the value t is equal to 4 seconds. Now we will calculate the velocity. As you know that velocity will be equal to velocity in radian direction plus velocity in theta direction. By using r and theta coordinate system formula, we will put the values because all variables of r and theta are already given and we have calculated till now. Take a square root of vr square plus v theta square to get the magnitude of velocity. In this problem, we have to also calculate the angle of the velocity vector with respect to x-axis. So for this purpose, we will make a vector diagram. First, I will draw the slotted arm with respect to theta angle and then I will put the mark that this is radial direction and the e theta is direction in the theta. So I put two coordinates here, that r coordinate and theta coordinate in the picture. Now we will put the values for the velocity component as we have calculated vr and v theta. Make sure that you choose the right direction. If vr is minus here, you will draw in minus direction and similarly for v theta. Now we will calculate the angle which is b tan inverse of vr upon v theta. After making velocity vector, the resultant, I will copy it to the origin point O so I can easily calculate the angle with respect to x-axis. So this is just copied from there. Please note here that the resultant vector v is in between the vr and v theta. Now we will calculate total angle alpha. Here you know that total angle alpha will be equal to the theta plus the 90 degree and the angle beta. Please note here that I am taking this theta angle plus the 90 degree which you can see I am making here at near to ER and E theta. This 90 degree plus the angle which is between the E theta and the resultant vector V that is beta. Now let's move to calculate the acceleration and their components. We will again use r and theta component system equation here for a r and a theta. For us till now we have calculated 
and got all values for r and theta parameter so we have to just put the values in the equation to calculate the components now you can calculate the magnitude of the acceleration by using these components further in this problem we have to also find the angle of the acceleration vector with respect to x-axis now i am drawing the acceleration vector so for this purpose i will locate the point p of the slider i made a theta line and the r line make sure that theta will be positive in the direction of the motion and the radial direction will be positive when you go far away from the center or the origin point get the values for the ar and a theta here you have to make sure that ar is minus and a theta is also in minus or negative direction so in this case you are going to make a vector of ar and a theta in the negative direction further you can calculate the angle the between the a theta and the alpha using tan inverse so in this case you can use the similar concept to find the total angle of the acceleration vector with respect to x make sure that you properly make vector diagram in their respective directions it means that you have to see either it is in the negative direction or in the positive direction thank you very much have a nice time